Hello and welcome to another Shocking Out Toy Reviews. Some idiots, a toy, a camera, a review. I'm Wilson, joined by... Toast. And we're looking at this NECA Predator figure from Predator 2, the ultimate shaman predator. Ching, there he is. He was, I assume, at the end of the movie on the ship? I would guess. I have no idea. So you want to go into why? Let's go into why. All right. I haven't bought a Predator toy in years. You uh, used to. I used to buy a lot of them. Um, and then they all started to just blend together and seem too much th the same. So this guy in the shelf took a look, and I was like, holy crap. Like, he's, he's got very a unique. very unique look. I love the mask. This is not the default head. Um, this is actually the masked head. And he comes with uh, soft goods. So, yeah, he's got all kinds of cool stuff. Like, like his axe is a human skull with the spine as the handle. The giant blade stuck in the middle of it. Yeah, this guy has... It's amazing. ...a theme. So, and, uh... Yeah, the soft goods thing really sold me. I thought it was cool. I didn't expect it to be articulated, but it is. Yeah, there's a wire in there. There and there. Fits well. It's a unique, I'm going to say, predator skin as well. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's up to snuff with NECA... Uh, paint and sculpt it looks great um, another nice touch with this spear is I noticed the ends of it are actually the gauntlet blades mm -hmm. like tied to the end two gauntlet blades tied to the end of the spear and it's got a little like bone animal bones hanging from it and stuff just all the attention to detail is there it's really well done I was really happy with it there's a lot of stuff going on on this hip yeah, and unfortunately, he doesn't have... He comes with even more stuff that we can look at here in a second. Um, but he doesn't have any place to really store anything. You mean the accessories? Accessories. Okay. I guess he, did, he doesn't have a shoulder mount? No. That was another unique thing. He doesn't have any kind of, like, really high-tech weaponry. Almost like the Predator from Prey. Mm. But I think that one had a laser gun. So what does he come with? So uh, if we want to look at the ult the regular stock head, unmasked head that he comes with. This is the regular? Yep. Painted extremely well. If you get close enough, you can see the eyes are painted. And I will mention, too, the eyes on this head are painted as well. So they must have just done like two heads and slapped a mask on that one. Yeah, they must have. That looks great. I just kind of like my Predator's mask. I'm not a mandible kind of guy. I really like this look, but also the helmets just look fantastic. Yeah. I'm, I'm usually torn which look to go with. Yep. He's got this gnarly looking bloody skull. Wow. I don't know what to do with it other than just like set it by him. He can't really hold on. Well, maybe you could get it in this open splayed hand. Looks like. Yeah. I don't know. Super bloody. Yeah, it's awesome. So open splayed hand that can also, I think, probably hold one of these discs somehow. You got an open disc, a closed disc. Again, can't store them anywhere. That kind of sucks. Um, a slightly less open splayed hand. That will hold the other disc. This hand, which can hold uh, his knife as well. His knife will fit in this one of these hands. Yeah. Actually, this actually this hand is specific for the spear, and then this one's for the knife and the axe. But he, he has a knife. He has a knife. Uh, an awesome knife. Awesome bloody knife. Got wow. Bone handle. Looks great. Fortunately, nowhere to store it on him again. So yeah, that sucks. I would at least like something for the freaking knife. They used to be able to store these on the sides yeah. of them, but they never really fit anyway, so I guess it kind of doesn't matter. I don't know. I just don't want shit laying all over the place. No, I get it. I'm dealing with that, and my solution has always been tiny plastic bags. Yeah. It's not great. All right. And then if you want to go find a thing, then you got to search exactly. a bunch of tender plastic bags. Yep. Uh, let's see. 
Do we need to go through articulation at all? We could just say it's standard. It's standard. Uh, none of his joints feel too tight or too loose. He feels really, you know, I'm confident moving him around. and Not like he's going to break? Yep. Yeah, no, not, we're not worried about neck of breakage here. He got, in the limited time that he's been out and around me, he gets constant, like, movement and play and stuff. Cool. So, scale. We got two other NECA figures. Uh, Splinter dressed up as Van Helsing. And it's the glow and dark Wolfman. So he's predator height. Yeah. Standard predator articulation, standard predator height. So that was a quick look at this toy, which you like. Which I like. And I think it's really impressive looking. What's the going price on a predator currently? I think he was like around 40 bucks, close to 40. He's worth it. I'm giving him a four and a half out of five. Uh, my only drawbacks is the lack of being able to store like the knife and stuff on him. But he's really cool looking. I'm really happy. I haven't bought it again. Haven't bought a predator in years. First one, and he just kind of popped. So yeah, it's it's really impressive. And uh, if you wanted to diversify your predator shelf, which I would want to do, yeah. Um, he he looks amazing. I love the weaponry. I love the, the skin tone. The poncho is fantastic. The helmet, which is a skull. Just really fantastic touch. Um, I will also say four and a half. It's really nice. Rock on. All right, that's been it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and be sure to comment below. Uh, thank you, Toast, once again, for doing the best work.